Do you need to be a Delaware corporation? That could be the million dollar question. We're about to get into it today. I'm Pankaj Ravel. Let's go. So I get the question all the time. Do I need to be a Delaware corporation? And there's a lot of misinformation out there and I want to dispel it all right now. The first thing you need to know is a Delaware corporation is generally for larger entities. So when you're thinking about publicly listed entities, they're going to be Delaware corporations. And there's a reason for that. The reason is that Delaware corporation is known to have some of the most sophisticated corporate law. They have a Delaware court of chancery. Over the years, they've amassed a large number of cases that answer a lot of important business law questions. Delaware is often one of the more popular places to form a business for larger companies. And it's also attractive for a lot of investors because it has the most shareholder protection. If you're thinking about Delaware, the first thing you need to think about is what is the main purpose for it? And if the purpose is you want to have shareholder protection, you want to be attractive to private equity, to venture capital, then it is a good place to be. That is one situation where Delaware is good. There could be others. It also has sophisticated laws when it comes to stock options and other equity grants and many many startups are there but just because someone's doing it doesn't mean that you need to do it and you've heard the adage from your parents uh you know just because someone jumps off a bridge doesn't mean you need to do it as well and the funny thing is entrepreneurship is oftentimes like jumping off a bridge i tell my clients all the time that entrepreneurship is really jumping off a bridge and building your wings on the way down so when it comes to figuring out what bridge you want to jump off of i would say don't jump off them all okay and this is one where you really want to be uh, smart and really think about what you're getting into when you form a corporation. Now, if you're a tech startup, then generally speaking, Delaware is going to be a great option for you. But let's say you have a services company. Let's say you have a plumbing company. Is Delaware still necessary? And the answer to that is often no, because Delaware is attractive for the reasons I stated before. If you're going to be having some sophisticated corporate structure or um, share structure, if you're going to be having investors, if you're going to be having private equity or venture capital involved, you're going to be raising a lot of money very quickly and you don't really care so much about profit, which most startups don't then you really want to think about, okay, maybe a local entity is much better for me. And those entities could be a uh, could be an LLC, it could be a corporation in the state in which you're operating. It could be an S corporation, which is essentially a tax selection you could make for either an LLC or a corporation, and that will get you started. You might have heard Delaware is great, or maybe for tax purposes, it's not ideal, and it's not always great for tax purposes, especially if you form there, because you're going to still have to for file a foreign designation in the state in which you're doing business. So if you're doing business in California or Arizona or Washington and you file in Delaware, now you're gonna have to pay the taxes in Delaware and file your annual reports there and also file a certificate of foreign designation in the state near which you're operating. If you don't wanna deal with that administrative headache, and if you feel like, well, you know, I'm just gonna be operating in this general vicinity of the county or maybe the larger area inside the state, then think about forming your entity in the state itself. And that means, if you're going to be operating mainly there, then make sure you are filed as a some type of entity. You could be a sole proprietorship as well. But if you want to have the benefits of some of the tax advantages of filing an entity, then you want to file an LLC or a corporation or one of the other entities we've talked about in other videos and make sure you decide on which ones are best for you. Again, you want to make sure you're making a decision that is informed and oftentimes means discussing it with your legal advisor. And I'm just providing this information for your informational purposes and not your lawyer. But it's very important that you consult with the lawyer when you're thinking about what kind of entity should I create. So we have Delaware and now we have other entities in other states. Oftentimes, a question that comes up. What about Wyoming? What about Nevada? There's some tax advantages there. Again, a lot of mis misinformation out there about this, but if you're doing business mainly, let's say California, there's really not a huge advantage to, to registering in Nevada because you're going to be taxed based on where you're residing. Sure, Nevada has very low state taxes or no state taxes along with Wyoming and other states, but if you're not doing business there, then you're going to be taxed on where you reside and there's not going to be a huge advantage of having your company there. So when you think about creating a company and where to do it, think about what is the purpose? Why do I even want to create it there? What's the right type of entity to create? And where are my end goals? Because that's really going to inform you as to what type of entity you should be creating. If you're a tech startup, yes, Delaware generally is the right answer for you. However, if you're a different type of business and not really looking to raise a bunch of capital right off the bat, then really think about creating these different types of entities in the state in which you reside, in which you're doing business, because that oftentimes will be a better answer for you and make your life less complicated 
And that's the whole name of the game because business is complicated and wherever you can simplify and make things a little bit more straightforward, it's very important you do so. I'm Pankaj Ravel, counsel for deal makers and risk takers. Have a great day.